I definitely want to start out talking about that I heard you have new music in the works. So that is really exciting. Tell us all about it. I'm so excited. I've been working with um, a new producer, Bobby Terry. Um, I've just loved his work. For, I mean, he's actually produced one of my favorite records, the Anthony Smith record that came out about five years ago. And um, he's just fabulous. So we've been looking for songs and looking for songs and writing and writing and um, we just went in and finished um, three songs and it's we're being mixed right now and we're still looking for other stuff and it's, a, it's still you know an ongoing process but we're like we can maybe pick a single out of the first three um, I don't know and so we're just kind of just working on it but I'm super excited yeah that's really exciting and do you think anything on there is like so far that you have like really different from you you know from things you've done in the past you know like any surprises you know I think it's not necessary I think you could listen to it and be like that's Amber you know what I mean so I don't know that it's like super different but it's kind of like me on steroids you know what I mean (laughs) (laughs) it's just like a step up or something so things evolve as you do that's right so but the material and everything is still very country and so I'm excited yeah I definitely you know that's one thing that I really like about you is you keep you know it's it's fresh it's unique it's your own thing but you definitely you know channel your traditional roots would you say so absolutely you know country music is really important to me and the heritage and the tradition of it and it's what I grew up listening to and um, it's what I would make my kids listen to and so I just um, love it and that is very important to me that um, it's I mean I can't really get away from it because it's who I am and so I don't foresee any kind of um, crossover pop career anytime soon unless it just happens all of a sudden or something but um, yeah it's country music heritage and traditions super important to me that's awesome and did you so you don't have a release date yet for the new project but it will be sometime 2014 yes absolutely but no date yet. <laughs> well, we'll be keeping our eye out for sure. Yeah. That's so exciting. And, you know, your, your single still now is, you know, the Any Day is a Good Day. And that song, you know, I know I've talked to you about it before, but, I mean, that song means so many, you know, so much to so many people. What, what do fans tell you, like, when, how that song has affected them? Do they tell you, like, what it means to them? Absolutely. You know, um, everybody is wanting to talk about it being a top 30, you know, my first top 30, and it's super exciting, and it's all great and everything, but the coolest part is what I hear from the fans about, you know, this song makes me in the morning get up and want to have a good day it makes me think about my life and if I'm you know negative like okay it's just good to be alive um also you know at shows I'll come to the merch table and somebody will come up and say you know that song that you sang the good day song I'm going through cancer treatment right now and I want to listen to that because it's going to give me hope and that and I've gotten tons of like emails and Facebook stuff just about what it means to them because I mean yeah the song in the third verse is about somebody that's going through something like that, like cancer or something. We didn't really write it specifically for one thing, but um, it can relate to lots of different things. It could be, you know, alcoholism or, you know, anything, any kind of addiction um, or just the fact that, you know, there's so many people right now that are hurting financially, looking for jobs and, you know, whatever. And so I just wanted it to be a song of hope. And I feel like it's achieved that. So, yeah, I definitely think so. I, th- I think it's one of those songs that, you know, you can find you can have it apply to so many areas of your life. And it's just being thankful, you know, and just waking up. I mean, it can like be a theme song in the morning. It's like, oh, you know, any day is a good day. Like I'm going to make it a good day, you know, and that's what I mean, we have to do. Sometimes we wake up and it is a crappy day, but we're going to I mean, we have to try to make it a good day, you know. And the lyric video, I love the lyric video. It's so, like, happy and, like, bright and shiny. It's so creative. Like, where, who, who came up with that? How did that get? I just love it. Well, it's so funny because I didn't really want to do, like, a lyric video with me in it because I'm like, ah. Oh. I mean, it's supposed to be about the lyrics and, you know, but being a new artist, the guy that did the lyric video, he was like, you're a new artist. You should have your face out there and it would be really cool. And I want to do this whole like green screen thing. It was like kind of experimental thing. And so he said, just just work with me on this. So I spent like a lot of time in front of a green screen, like looking at stuff and pretending like I was floating and all this stuff. But it turned out really good. And I think that the animation that he did and everything um, and a lot of, you know, it's really cool for kids too and 
um, you know, it just is different. And I think that we achieved getting a different lyric video, but also since it, there wasn't a real video for it, it kind of, you know, was fine because it made sense. Yeah, I agree. And it, I like that it, um, it really fits the song so well because you can't like watch that lyric video and not smile and just be like, okay, this is a good day because it's so happy. Yeah, lots of bright colors yeah. and a polka dot shirt and all that. Yeah. The whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. Well, shifting gears a little bit, um, you have something really cool coming up on March 4th. The Pop Goes, is it Pop Goes Rochelle? That's right. Yeah, they, it's kind of a tribute to Hee Haw, right? Yeah, it's a he, it's um, a Hee Haw event, but it's for the Rochelle Center here in Nashville. And um, I thought it was so cool that they were doing this themed kind of um, charity event, which, you know, you, you, there's a lot of charity events that go on here in Nashville, of course, and we like to lend our talents to help, but I just thought this was really, really cool, the way that they're doing this, and it's going to be at the Country Music Hall of Fame, and um, there's actually some really great people that are going to be involved. I think Pam Tillis is going to be, like, the main person kind of in charge of doing it all, and um Lori Morgan and Craig Morgan and um, lots of different people. So Joe Diffie, people that I love, you know, that I grew up listening to and just um, very country. And so we're going to be doing some skits and each singing songs, but it's all to benefit the Rochelle Center. So, yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, That's awesome. yeah definitely. And then you also, I know you were, your music was in Cowgirls and, and Angels, right? And you also had a, a part in it. Now I hear there's a sequel coming. Are you a part of that as well? That's right, I am. I um, just am able to talk about that this week for the first time. So it's really exciting. Um, I'm going to be performing, just so mainly just making an appearance. Um, but I'm singing two songs in the movie. And one of them is called Home, and it was on my first EP, which was called Come On. And then um, we recorded a brand new version of Cotton Eye Joe, which has really got a different twist to it. So That is really exciting. Yeah, That's going to be a lot of fun. So are you going to release the Cotton Eye Joe song too, like um, like as a single, or is it just in the movie? Or We're working on it. I know that there's a, a music video, so I know that's going to be released. And so I don't know. It all de Everything has to, you know, kind of depend on what the movie does. So, okay. And looking back over the last few years, I know you've done a lot of really cool things. I love seeing all the, you know, you've done National Anthem and all that kind of stuff. What are a few moments that stand out in your mind that you just, career pinch me moments, cannot believe that that happened to you? Well, two that stand out um, for me. One is um, getting to open for Reba because I grew up in Oklahoma and just adored Reba and um, just thought the world of her and wanted to be Reba with just Amber, you know. Yeah. Um, and so I got to open for her in Oklahoma with all my family there um, to a sold out show, which was just amazing. And so that was a dream come true. So that's a highlight. And then also getting to perform the national anthem at the um, uh, Oklahoma City Thunder game because all my family was there. And um, I don't know if you've ever been to an NBA game, but when the national anthem is sung, you're like right there in the middle with lights out. And what they did was they said, you know, she's had music and Heart of Dixie and she's been on – the, the big screen and she's had two top 40 I mean it was just like all this stuff and then they had the shape of Oklahoma and then my hometown just oh, wow. with a big star and it came out and it said Valika um, native Amber Hayes and it was just one of those moments where it was like with all my family being there it was really cool wow. you know yeah that's really a special moment for sure especially since your family can partake in it you know Absolutely. and what would you say um, for fans maybe that haven't heard your music yet, what is something that you would want them to know most about you and your music, and how would you describe your sound to them? Well, you know, I think I'm just a normal girl from Oklahoma who loves to sing, who loves country music, and I think you'll see that in everything as far as, like, my music. You'll hear Oklahoma in it. You'll hear just a, you know, normal girl. Um, you'll see that on my social media stuff. I'm just very positive. I love um, just the fact that I'm being able, able to chase my dream, you know, and live this life that I'm living is pretty fabulous. And I may not be on the biggest stage and I may not be making millions of dollars, but I'm still able to do this. And I'm just very thankful for that. And I think that comes through in my music, which I hope it does. And I'm and just that it's fun, you know, fun and positive. And um, I think that definitely shows through on the last record for sure.